Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great long weekend and you're ready for another great week of virtual learning. Uh, we're gonna start off with Raz Kids, just like we always do. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is look for your name and then put in the passcode of LEAP, all lowercase. All right, and um, just wanted to say congratulations to Aiden. He leveled up. Um, he worked very hard to read all of his books and now he's on a higher reading level and you can do it too. So keep up the great work, guys. Click on my assignment. And today's book is called Changes. Okay, so here's the book, it's called Changes. Our learning target is going to be to explain how the little girl here, on the, see the little girl in yellow? How do her feelings change throughout the story? Because remember, characters just like us go through changes in their feelings, right? They don't always just stay happy the entire story or sad the entire story. Uh, this book is a realistic fiction, which means it's not real, but it could be, okay? Now let's look at the cover and try to make a prediction of what we think this could be about. So what do we see in the picture? We see a truck and on the top of the truck, it says A and B movers. We see boxes being loaded in and we see the little girl kind of just looking at the truck. So from that picture, what do you think is happening? Yes, somebody is moving, right? It could be that little girl. She might be the one who's moving. All right, so let's read and find out. All right, changes. Now look, we see two different feelings here, right? In the first picture, in the blue one, the little girl's looking sad. And in the second picture, she's looking happy. So just like us, characters have feelings too, and their feelings, their feelings change. This story is written by B. Silverberg, illustrated by Darcy Tom. All right, here we go. Things are always changing, like the clock, the weather, and even me, it seems nothing ever stays the same. So this is showing you what? How the weather's changing, right? So in the winter time, you're all bundled up and then in the spring, you know, there's, there's flowers, but there's also the rain. So what the main character is saying is that nothing ever stays the same. My life has been full of changes. Sometimes I don't feel good about them, but then later it gets better. So I want you to think about changes in your life. Have you ever been through a change of some sort? I'm sure you have, maybe a new school or moving or even, you know, just dealing with right now, the change of school, being home and not in school. That's a huge change. And also, the little girl is the narrator. She is the one that is telling us the story because we see the words my and I, but we don't know her name yet. She's the one who's speaking and telling us. Taffy, my kitty, ran away. We have looked for him all over, but we cannot find him anywhere. I miss Taffy a lot, and I am sad. So looking at her feelings here, she's sad. What caused her to be sad? 
Happy the kitty ran away. Dad says that we can get another kitty. That makes me feel better. I don't know what I will name him, but I will always remember Taffy. So now we can see the character's feelings have changed, right? Very sad. And now she's starting to feel hopeful, right? And she's picturing Taffy in her mind. And she knows if she gets another kitty, she'll feel better. <clears throat> and just that thought is putting her at ease. My best friend Robin just moved away. The moving van took away everything and the house is empty. I wish Robin were here to play with me. So here's the cover. So somebody is moving and it isn't the little girl, it's her friend Robin. And here she's, she's upset, right? Her good friend is moving. Just like if you have a good friend that ever moved away, you'll be feeling pretty sad, right? I know when I was younger, um, in third grade, I had my best friend moved away and I was just so, so sad. But then over time, things got better. Robin now lives in the mountains. I have never seen mountains, but they sound like fun to visit. Mom says we can take an airplane so I can see Robin and play with her again. So that's Robin in the picture and she moved to the mountains. See the mountains behind her? The day I started the new school year, I was scared of all the new children in my class. I was afraid that they wouldn't like me and that I couldn't run as fast as they do. So now she's talking about when she had started school for the first time, but she was scared. So that's another feeling, right? So she was sad, hopeful, sad again. And now she's talking about how she was afraid of the kids in her class. Now I am happy because I have made lots of new friends. I like Sarah and Anna and Mary Lou, who makes me laugh. I love my class and my teacher. So she went from scared to happy, right? Because she started making friends. So this is the main character. She's just looking back over her life and talking about the different changes that she's been through. Mom just took a new job at an office downtown. She's not here when I come home from school. My Aunt Barbara is here to give me cookies and milk. So it looks like here the narrator is, is kind of a little upset because now her mom is not home when she comes home from school. But she does have an Aunt Barbara that's there to give her cookies and milk. Then I wait and wait for mom to come home. When the hands of the clock point straight up and down, she comes home and that makes me happy. So she's upset her mom wasn't there and now her feelings change. Mom comes and she's happy. Things are always changing, even with me. Yesterday I looked in the mirror. My face looked like a Halloween pumpkin because I lost my first tooth. I know you all can relate to losing your teeth. I had a big surprise when I woke up this morning. My tooth was gone from under my pillow. There was a note from the tooth fairy and a whole quarter. I'm going to save it to buy some colored pencils. So when she lost her tooth, she wasn't feeling confident in herself, right? When she looked in the mirror, now she wakes up and she has some money and she's excited again. So you see how in life, you're always just gonna keep going through these changes and your feelings are gonna change too, along with life changes. In school, I learned that crawly caterpillars change into butterflies. We just learned about that last week. And tiny acorn nuts grow into great oak trees. Hmm, so what do you think she's getting at here? A caterpillar does what? Yes, 
changes into a butterfly, right? So that is part of life. That change has to happen. And a tiny acorn starts out as a tiny acorn and then it grows into a great big oak tree. Another change. Mom says that long ago, she was little like me. Do you think someday I will change and be a grown up? I think I will be an artist. So this is her thinking, right? And she's thinking about when she's growing up and how she thinks she might wanna be an artist. And that makes her feel what? What do you think it makes her feel? Hope, maybe hopeful, maybe a little excited. And that's the end. So there were a lot of changes in there, this book, right? Lots of life changes. And that's what life is all about, is these changes and how do you deal with the changes that happen in life. All right, let's take a look at our quiz. And I'm clicking on it. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, let's see why I can't get to the quiz for some reason. Okay, so done. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, next we'll click on the quiz. All right, so our first question starts right away with our learning target, talking about how she's feeling. It says, how does the girl feel about her friend Robin moving away? A, she feels angry. B, she feels sad. C, she feels excited. All right, so I want you to think about that. What lesson does the girl learn? A, life is full of changes. B, things never change. Or C, school is very difficult. So I want you to think about what the whole book was about, right? And figure out what that lesson was. When does the girl feel excited? A, when her mom gets a new job. B, when she gets a note from the tooth fairy. Or C, when her kitty runs away. All right, so let's think about that feeling of excited, right? Well, she definitely wasn't excited when her kitty ran away. She was sad when that happened. Can't be C. A, when her mom gets a new job, was she excited about that? No, she wasn't because mom wasn't home to give her snack, right? She waited for her mom to get home. So it's B, she was excited when she got that note from the tooth fairy. Why is the girl finally happy at school? And think about what would make you happy at school, just like the main character. A, she makes new friends. B, she runs very quickly. Or C, she likes her lunch. Well, let's just take a moment and go back in the story and see what it was. We're gonna go to the page where she's at school and find out what made her happy. All right, so remember, here she is in school. The, when she first started, she was scared because she couldn't, she thought maybe she couldn't run as fast as everyone. But then she says, now I am happy because I have made lots of new friends. So she's happy because she makes new friends, A. And number five, which compound word means the same as the center of the city? All right, so I want you to think about a city and what's in the center of it. Now remember, a compound word is two, two words that are combined to make one larger word. We have anywhere, grown up, and downtown. Well, center of the city. It's not B, grown up. A, anywhere, does that make sense? The center of the city? Well, anywhere is not a specific place, so it's C, downtown. In the center of a city is usually like um, 
a shopping area, a place that the people can walk around in. All right, boys and girls, so don't forget to reread the story and finish up that quiz. And we're in our Zoom meeting today, we're going to talk about changes in life and what kind of feelings some of those changes create. All right, everyone, I will see you up next for social studies. Bye for now.